Hello Arsenal Pass listeners and viewers, welcome to this special sealed deck building video with myself and Nick Butcher, Australian National Champion. We've just finished wrapping up Limited Time Only Episode 2. We talk a lot about sealed from our learnings from pre-release and we wanted to show you kind of some of our learnings and thought process when it comes to building a sealed deck for this format. Skirmish season is coming up, there's going to be a sealed deck format. So uh, Nick, why don't you take away, start opening the packs and tell us a bit about what you're going to do. Yep, yeah, cool. So I hope you guys are going to have fun this uh, sealed season. So we're obviously going to rip out all our tokens. We're just going to try and organize things in terms of their class. And I'm doing this backwards. So please don't think I'm going slow because I want to show all the cards to all you lovely Arsenal Pass people, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone else. Um, let's. I'm going to just going to put it this way because it's so much easier. Yeah, you, 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 you put it that way, and I'll flip the screen for you, Nick. So you, you put it towards you, and I'll flip the screen so that it's facing everyone still. How about that? That works out really well. There you go. So, there you go. That's, yeah, perfect. That is... That's perfect. So, Nick, what, the first thing, I mean, I can see you've got your generics there. You've got your you know your ranger piles, your ninja pile. Uh, one of the mm -hmm. cool things I like to do as well, because it makes it a bit easier for, for me personally, is I'll like put the uh, – I'll put – uh, assess in the middle and then i'll put ranger and ninja on either side of it and then i'll put those uh those hybrid cards in between so that you kind of um can kind of cleanly see where everything is and then usually my generic somewhere around yeah i just i put all the hybrid cards in its own little little mm -hmm. cheeky little section as you can see this back oh, there's some decent little blues here i'm really liking the blues in this in these two packs that we've gotten so far so and how important line... are blues to you in this, in this format because one of the things we talked about on episode two, limited time only, we talked about blues being really important in the end of the game, and the quality of your blues can really decide how an end game kind of shakes out. Oh, this pack is amazing. Two traps, Codex of Blood Rot, and Threadbare Tunic. We're set up to success this game. This limited. Yeah, the so, seal pool is good. The fact, that we got the fact that we got two traps in one pack really signifies that we're going to have a very nice ranger and a nice assassin pool, which is very good for us. So as we go through these packs, we've seen, I like just, you know, we've gotten a lot of decent cards for Ranger so far. So we're just going to keep bottling along, not get too excited. Oh, it's a nice twin twist is there. I don't think I put any of those. So it's very nice to see. I don't think we're going to be playing any, any Rangers, but uh, very cool. Is that a red brush off? Come to fight. Yep. And a very nice blue come to fight. We'd love to see that. Be like water, great blue toxic tip, a great card, another trap, which is nice. Hurl blue, which is fantastic. Another infectious host, which is great generic blue, I in my opinion. And then this is probably the best blue for assassin slash ninja. So and then you know, finish up with a foil yellow brush off. <laughs> I see you've already got three traps, you've got a couple of hurls, and now I understand why you uh went 13 and 0 and sealed over the weekend. Yeah, I, I was pretty good at pulling decent cards, I, I, I'd like to say. It definitely wasn't uh, any kind of skill, I can guarantee you that. So everyone here, just pull well and you'll be perfectly fine getting there this uh, sealed format season. Advice. Head jab blue, fantastic. Seekers, Lazings, we love to see that. Another trap, which Another is amazing. Trap. Another blue hurl, which is fantastic. See, I told you. And then we got to cut down the side. So these packs, were, as I'll say, these packs were not... Uh, in the same box. I got to, yeah, these packs were not from the same box. They probably none of them were even close to from the same box. These were price support packs from the the season, so the coalition might be a bit off. So, but just by going by randomness, we're just going to go through it anyway because at the end of the day, you might get this might happen to you. It doesn't wouldn't really matter, hmm. but just it's just there, just just so you know that we're not like you know cheating you and getting nutty pulls just to force force uh, any agendas or anything like that. We love all classes equally. Except for Ninja and Sealed. Uh, that's correct. Is that another trap? So we, here you go, we, yeah, no, we got oh, uh, spike. a spike with a... Two a spike, which is very nice uh, for our Assassin, and it's a rare, and then we got Short and Sharp, which uh, we did discuss as uh, being very... Uh, a bait card, which we're not fans of. We don't like bait cards. We have an Infecting Shot here, which is a, a great red arrow, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. it's not looking great to play Ranger in this pool. We just don't have that many pumps in red, especially. Uh, no Cold Fallings. Never lucky, Unlucky. but uh, as it's, we get in here... There's a red periphery. That's your pump here after that. Yeah, definitely. And then we got another good red, a blue piece of mind, Merc Meyer Grapplers, another red Prowl. This is looking like a fantastic pool for our Assassin. And then we're going to the last thing. Wonder... Ooh! That's a spicy one. Wonder with purpose. Benji's this is a great card for Benji. Uh, man, I'm, I'm thinking now. I'm thinking. I'm going to suss it out. I'm at least going to suss it out. 
uh, before making my decision. Another short and sharp, which is fine. And another Thunder Gust Wave. So now that I've just pulled that, I kind of do want to look at my Ninja Pool. It is a, that is a very powerful card. And you know what? It is about having fun just as much as anything. And you know what? <laughs> so what are, what are we looking for? We want to play Ninja. I mean, what are we looking for? We're looking for good, powerful, like, red and combo yeah. cards, right? Cards that, like, win conditions is what we want. Yeah, definitely. So Wandering Purpose is a very good card. It's gives it's uh, it gives you a Benji. Yeah, it makes your mm -hmm. attack a pretty much makes your attack a Katsu effect. So when it hits, that's fantastic. So we do have some good reds here for this class. So we have three descending gust waves. Which <laughs> if we had bonds of ancestry, it'd be we don't have any surging strikes, which is unfortunate. Um, you got some be like water one, though. Check. One twin twist does. So I don't think so. We can look at the ninja slash assassin cards. So. Blue zero cost are also going to be important, right? To make sure we can play Kadachi's very Yeah, uh, definitely. So we're going to go through our, our list of assassins slash ninja cards. So we do have a short and sharp. We have two short and sharp, which is really good, uh, especially in this deck. And we have two blue hurls, which is the best blue card that you can play. Um, we'll go through our generics. I don't think that we do have very many zero cost blues mm. outside of that. We have one, two, three, okay, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have ten. We have twelve zero cost blues. I've never seen that in many in a pool. <laughs> yeah, that's that is interesting. I, I'm 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 considering this. I'm going to move it over to the side because I've never seen an interesting pool like this. I don't think it's doable because we just don't have that many starter cards. And Descender Gusgrave is not a good starter. Yeah. Um, and we just don't have combo pieces for Katsu. Which is unfortunate, but I think this is as close as I've ever seen. Yeah. How many red um time. how many red generics, like red attack generics do you have? You know, those power cards that can provide some damage. Because those are really good with Kadachis. This is a great this is still a great card because yep. it just gives you a plus three. We don't we only have yeah, we don't have many. many, we just have these, yeah, yeah, which is unfortunate. So I think I'm gonna put it over to the side. Mm -hmm. I, it's unfortunate because I was actually very excited about about this this at the start when I pulled that majestic but unfortunately we are in the one in 100 where we have a very nice ninja pool we were closer than i think I, i've been that's for sure so let's go over to ranger so it's very easy to discount ranger because we just don't have the pump spells so we'll just count the arrows we we only have four red arrows which yeah. that's not the where i want to be it's definitely yeah. under the under par i think six is like yeah. really minimum to be honest and and i yeah, yeah i think maybe you can get it with Even five if you have some good yellow ones as well wing. we have two red falcon wings so it's was very close but we just don't have the gas especially because we don't have red very many good red blue, blue, red generic cards yeah so we kind of want to discount that as well which is very unfortunate so i guess we are going for the old assassin and now yeah. we have to decide which assassin we do want to play so we do have a lot of good cards so this might be an gonna... arachne deck yeah, it very much could be. We uh, we have five, two, we have three prowl, which is very interesting. Mm, it's good for Rackney. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So we'll count our. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cards with stealth, which is a a fine number for mm -hmm. uh Azuri. And as you can see, we do have. Codex of Blood Rot, which is a very powerful card. Fortunately, we didn't pull any uh, Death Touch, which, I mean, sometimes you sometimes are lucky, but we did pull a lot of good control cards. Uh, yeah, I think with this particular pool, we don't have that many good... Swappers? Swap cards yeah. outside of the blues, which is good in the late game, but not in the early game. So I think I am going to go with Arachne in this pool. You do have... We do have four Prowls, <laughs> which... It's very, very good, right? Like How many of them are red? Three red prowl. Yeah, oh, that's... sorry. No, two red prowl, two yellow prowl. Yeah. Which is very, very good. Um, and especially, another reason why you'd want to play uh, Azuri is it's the dominate one, Isolate. Mm -hmm. That in blue is a very powerful card, and we don't have any of those in any color, so it's very much disincentivizing me to play uh azuri so i think i'm going to commit to riptide not riptide to <laughs> arachne yeah to arachne yep. and we'll see our equipment we do oh we do have a full suite of equipment which is fantastic yeah and the best that's boots. amazing <laughs> so you've got well, talk us through the equipment and just the read us through the equipment you've got there so we do have mask of shifting perspective mm -hmm. which its effect doesn't exactly matter 
because your dagger hits, put a card, if you hand the bottom, yeah. draw a card. It's it's okay. It's good if you have something like sneak attack, mm -hmm. uh, which is a great interaction, which you uh, should all be aware of because you can just pop this off for free and then just make your give a plus four to yep. your sneak attack. Bread bear tunic is the best card. Uh, we don't have death touch, so we can't abuse it very much. We also, I just don't think we no don't spring have spring load. Any, yeah, we don't have any spring load, which is interesting. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't have many good swap cards to get in there, but then we do have, we do have the best leg equipment yep. and a very nice arm piece. Cool. All right, let's um, let's lay it down and see what you got then. You got yeah, these traps so, as well, which is huge. Yeah, we have four traps, two of them being blood rust, so we're very comfortable into the Azuri matchup, which I'm very happy about. And we have the best blue in in this format, in my opinion, in Hurl. We have two of those, so with these, your opponent's basically starting with three less life because they're not going to be able to stop them unless they have the uh, they commit their equipment. The seek seeking's equipment. So you've got you've got you've kind of decided. It looks like you know really the, the katsu just isn't quite there. The binge isn't quite there, and this it looks yep. like a, a kind of just a solid erection. It doesn't look it's not going to blow the world away, but you've got some good win conditions. You've got some good defensive cards. You've got good equipment suite. So I guess we now why don't, why don't we lay it out and just look at what the the end end product of the deck is going to be. Beautiful. All right, so here's the finished product. We're playing 38 cards with 19 block threes, which, as I said, is where I want to be. I want to have half my deck be block three cards, which is really nice tankiness. I think the four traps are going to help a lot. We have 10 cards with stealth, four of them being prowl. So we really want to focus on our blues because we don't have that much power in our reds to push damage through if they have like a fish and block three cards. So we definitely want to be pitching and saving our humbles and our cutdowns for the late game. We definitely want to be getting these off as well, even though short and sharp, we did diss it a little bit. But in this deck, it is quite reasonable, just because you do have you do are going to be relying on blues like hurl in the late prowl. game. Yep, and even the blue infectious host is great with yellow prowl, so it's a quite a strong card. Um, with all these cards, you don't want you want to keep your prowls as long as possible and combine it with something like a sedate. So. The problem with this is that you only have one good on hit as, as your red. So you definitely want to be using this when you're coming in for four and then just like getting value with your razor's edge because you do have a lot of attack tricks, right? So this is how you can push damage through against a lot of these decks and get them in the late game. So if they're on a nine threshold and you've got double razor's edge, you can really get them with, that, with stuff like that. You also have things like hurl. So if they get too greedy, you have three hurl. We pulled three hurl. So... I know only two will resolve, but you can just have the red one as a zero for three, and then in the late game, they're, they're basically on two less life. So the blue ones are just absolutely going to be crucial for us. We get cheeky damage in, right? All these attack reacts, five of them, four defense reacts, and two hurls. So we have a lot of cheeky late game damage in, and we're going to be able to like push it through and win the game that way, especially because we do have a lot of good efficient block three cards. These cards are obviously very good. Azuri is going to be a little bit tricky, so we have a double Blood Rot Trap, which is going to be fantastic. Um, then we just got to think of what's the best use of our equipment. We have one little piece of mind here. Fantastic with our, our uh, Cheeky Seekers leggings over here, which is a, going to be a great combination. And we did pull a Majestic Codex of Blood Rot, which in the late game is going to give them that Blood Rot Trap, which is going to help a lot. And it's going to be able to put a good card in your hand into your arsenal, which is fantastic, and just draw your card in the end of the game. So, yeah, I'm really happy with this deck, to be honest. Uh, I think we did well. Um, yeah. it's, look, as, as you, as you see, it turns out I have a, a blue prowl as well. So we have five prowl, one of them being blue, which is, which is amazing. Go. One we missed before. So lots of... So uh, before, we, before we kind of wrap it up, I mean, obviously, really solid ranking deck here. Next, talk through the options. What about some of the cards that you're not playing? We're playing 38 cards. I think this is a really good test. It's like, what are some of the cards that you think yep. are, are not good enough? So you can just maybe fan some of these through and just, just tell us why you're not playing some of these cards. Yeah, so Peace of Mind Blue is basically unplayably bad no matter what. Um, we don't need that many blues, so things like Scale the Periphery are kind of average. Spicy Locals is pretty average. It's okay with Short and Sharp in the later stages of the game, but it only comes in for one. In, it, it's kind of average, and we, we're, we're kind of asked for blues because we do have things like Cut Down to Size and Humble, as well as this one as well is also quite decent in the late game. Would you would you consider maybe playing like I know you've got a blue infectious host there? Would you maybe consider into the assassin mirror playing one of those not attack actions over the infectious host for the you know the fact it doesn't get hit by spiders by or is it just not really worth it? Uh, I think that is definitely a consideration. Uh, honestly, um, if you want to go down that route and you think that you definitely need the extra cards, I would definitely just 
play these extra cards in the mm -hmm. deck, as, uh, especially because they are they do turn they are just block two all the time. Yeah. So that that is quite uh, relevant. Thanks for pointing that out. Uh, Ravenous Rivals unplayable in blue. Let's not kid ourselves. We are just cutting one of this because we do have one in the deck, but as I said, we, we don't need that. We don't need that many blues. Um, yellow, yellow deliberation is an interesting one. Um, maybe, maybe talk a bit about that one. Yeah, I'm not a fan of it, especially because we're not swapping it in. Humble and yellow is actually reasonable, which we might actually consider yeah. playing in the, in the deck if we if we need the extra threat. That's anything we feel like we need the extra threats, so we might put this in because it is just two for five over one of the but, blues, maybe. Yeah. So. You do have sideboard space, and you can change cards as as you go, right? Um, so I did, would definitely consider adding in this yellow humble in great card, especially because you can just go like prowl into humble if you have a a, a bigger hand size. Um, these are pretty pretty average. Like I don't really find if I was playing uh, Azuri, maybe this is more useful because in the late game you can swap it in and it becomes four, and you can get that last bit of damage in. But in this deck, it's quite underwhelming, especially because late game you definitely just want to be coming in with yellow prowls and blue prowl into like a big wider turn so yellow spicy locals is a bit average and we just it's just about what are the better cards that you can play in this deck right so yeah, you know you don't want to play everything right like you you have this rule yeah. that you talked about in the pod which is you like to play 50 percent of your deck being three blocks so you've got 19 three blocks so that means 38 to 40 cards so you don't want to be playing too many extra cards that are just going to gum up your hand things that aren't you know you start to really reduce the power of your deck it's a real balancing act right so um some yeah. of these yellows you know miss out but may maybe humbles the one that looks like it could be it could be yeah, an yeah i think that is definitely inclusion we'll put it in that's that's the deck right there um you have a lot of battle tricks mm -hmm. and that's what we're going to use to to get into get the victory cool well if you haven't already check out the time episode two where nick does join me we talk a lot about our learnings from sealed and all the kind of theory behind what nick's just done right here kind of we chat about that so you can learn a lot for skirmish season upcoming but until next time we'll see you in the next video